Hey everyone, it's Jeffrey Gilbert here, partner and co-founder here at Juried Art Services. Today, we're just going to go through what it takes to get your first application in at Juried Art Services. First, assuming that you've got a logged in account, you go find the event you want to apply to. I'm just going to pick our test event here. There we go. Clicking on that, Let's see what our application dates are, application fee. Um, available categories. If there's one app per category uh, as a limitation for an event, then you will see these categories disappear as you apply to them. But those categories will also appear as already applied to and editable right here as existing applications. Go ahead and edit that or apply now to create a fresh application. We're going to go ahead and create a fresh application just to get things started. Your primary account is right here. Collaborating artist is anyone who you would have collaborated with to create this artwork. Um, the category, pick any category that applies. Go ahead and hit save. And we've created our application. Great, it's loaded us up on our application editing page. Now we can see that we're missing two uh, images here. It's required two images, primary works, and then one to two required detail shots. So let's see what that's gonna look like. Now, this says drag to reorder. It does not say drag to upload here. Do not drag images into here. That's not gonna help you. I'm gonna go ahead and click this box. It's going to ask us to choose the artwork type. It's going to either be from one of these two categories. Go ahead and pick that one. It's just arbitrary because we're testing. We'll pick some piece of art. I've just got some random stuff in here in this test account. Pick this. There we go. Piece of art. Looks like a table. And that came from my portfolio. And you can see, um, you know, it's pretty easy to just add things from your portfolio if it's existing. But let's just assume that we don't have something in our portfolio already. Let's go ahead and remove that. Now, Let's say we did have something we wanted to pick, but it needed to come from a previous application. See, here's our data sources here. Go, previous application. Ah, okay, I can see that one. Click that, it's also gonna fill that in with all the details from that previous application, where they match. But let's assume that we really don't have any applications. This is actually our first time applying. We're probably gonna need some new images to be downloaded or uploaded into here. This is where you can actually download or upload the images from your system into here through a drag and drop. So if we wanna do that, let's go ahead. I'll grab an image folder here. There we are. And we'll grab something that doesn't fit the bill. This image is too small. Let's see what happens. Image is too small. Minimum dimensions are 768 by 768. Your image is 320 by 132. If this should happen to you and you're sure that you have the best quality image that you have available, but you still need to meet this minimum criteria, most likely what you're going to need to do is resize that image. And depending on if you're on Mac and PC, there's different options for doing that. Obviously, I can't show you the PC options because we're not on a PC right now. We're on a Mac. Um, but let's say we needed to resize this. Go in here if you're on a Mac and open it up in preview the image then um, what you would do is pull down from the tools menu at the top, which I don't think you can see here. Oh, you can see the, the options, but it's under tools. Hit adjust size. It's going to bring up the image sizes right there. You can see right here, it's requiring 768 by 768. You are going to lose some fidelity with this, but you can make it 768 as the lowest number, and then it will bump that up. This will now meet the criteria and allow you to upload successfully. You can see it's increased the size of this 581%. That's the fidelity you're losing. It's gonna do a resample. It will be fuzzier. 
it won't have the sharpness that you expect or the jurors expect, which is why we actually request that you upload at least 768 by 768 as those are the minimum dimensions that we'll need to be able to show your work off successfully to the events. Okay, let's get rid of this because that's not helping anyone. We'll take another photo. We'll go with, I think we've got some AI generated ones here to use. There we go. Just for testing. Upload that. Now we can see the upload was successful after just drag and dropping. Fantastic. Um, this gives us some instructions here. This image can be edited, cropped, and rotated by clicking on the pencil icon above. Wonder what it's talking about. It's talking about this pencil icon right here that associates with this uh, image that we've uploaded. So let's go ahead and try to do that. See what our options are. We can rotate and resize. You can change the orientation. You can also update the saturation values and different color combos, things like that. Vibrance, warmth, hit enhance, auto enhance this. Make it look how you want it. Fantastic. Once you're done, you can commit to those changes by pushing this arrow and it will change your image that you've uploaded. You can see automatically does that for us. And when we're finished with everything, hitting this X will close out and lose all your changes. We don't want to do that. Hit this done button right here to finish the upload. Fantastic. Image uploaded successfully. And you can see all the images or all the UI there changed over, took a second to get it all updated. But here we have our image, brand new image uploaded. And now when we look, we can see we've got our title say fiery space storm seems right purchase for thousand dollars and you can save that great details are saved ah but we do have a missing image here because we required one to two detail shots for this particular one not all events will require detail shots but this particular one does so we'll go ahead, come in here. And as you can see, we still have all these other detail images. We'll just go with some random shot. Fantastic. Now we have a detail image here. It's available. I can zoom in on it. Great. Let's close out. Now, or I can see it from this view as well. Here we go. There's our detail image. And you can see this one's optional. That's why it's green. And this one was red because it's required. Now we've got that requirement filled, but we're still seeing a red dot over here flashing. It's because this guy hasn't been filled in. Now we will fill that in as well. Once again, put in some testing image data. None of this matters. Fantastic. Okay. And um, normally we're going to pick things that are related works like a detail would be a side view or a back view. In this case, don't have that available. So we'll just pick in some test data. I'm going to delete this afterwards. No big deal. And now all of our red dots have gone away. There's no red dots here. There's no red dots on the images saying that there's missing data in, the, in any of those things. Our pay now button should work and when we hit pay now takes us right to our beginning checkout screen. This will take us to our PayPal and click that. It takes us right to PayPal to pay that test fee of $1, which of course I'm not gonna step through that right now, um, but it's a typical PayPal screen. So you log in with PayPal, go through, do all your, or pay with debit or credit card. You've got a full list of options here. That concludes our lesson for today on everything that you need to do to get your first application set up and paid for. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out at support at juryinning.net or you can call us on the support line. Just go to help, contact support, or right here, artist support. It'll be me picking up the phone most times 
or you'll be leaving a message and I'll be reading it. So look forward to hearing from you and seeing what you've done. Um, thanks for uh, posting on Dreadart Services. Bye.